Yeah, Gary, just wanted to talk about uh, um, CRT circuit boards and um, basically scrapping them down and or, or how I scrap them down. And uh, um, mostly because uh, circuit boards, um, well, CRT circuit boards are a pretty low value. Uh, most places don't buy CRT circuit boards. Um, anymore. Um, if you get anything, you probably might get 20, 25 cents a kilo. Um, but uh, you know what? What most people prefer to do is just to pick the uh, valuable stuff off the boards and uh, then just throw the rest into scrap steel. You might get you know somewhere close to 10 cents a kilo for scrap steel anyway. So you might as well just pick off the copper and aluminium and stuff like that. So I'll just scrap a. I'll I'll scrap this out how I do it and uh, we'll see how we go. Okay, so obviously we want the um, copper spool, the transformer, and this aluminium heatsink. So simply use a multi grip and that's it. We've got a copper spool we can clean up. Okay. We can clean this copper spool up, get the copper out of it, put a little screwdriver in there or something. get the picture basically it's um that's um whilst it's uh it's nice clean it's it's not milberry because it's got a slight um orangey you know coppery color it's not bright and shiny so it's just milberry uh sorry burnt just throw it in burnt okay um so yeah i'll just uh take off these transformers Transformer, little copper spool, and the aluminium heatsink. Okay, clean that up and uh, throw the rest into scrap steel as well. Okay, so now we've got most of the larger stuff. Now, the uh, this fly black, flyback transformer. Um, is, is, is no good as a transformer, it doesn't go as transformers um, even though it's called a transformer um, if you bust one open you'll actually see that there's no copper inside well there's very very little copper inside it's mostly just ferrite and plastic um, if you throw these in with your transformers the, uh, your scrapyard will most likely take them out um, so you can just leave these on the boards just go to scrap steel and this, that's all they, they're, they are. Okay, little transformer here. Usually they come off pretty easy. That, um, it's a sealed kind of transformer. Just throw them straight in a transformer bucket. Okay, now we've got uh, all, all these little capacitors and resistors and stuff. They're, they're, there's no real precious metals in there there's nothing of value in those things um, there's a little crystal oscillator we can take and over here there's another flat crystal oscillator and another longer one here so one two three crystal oscillators we'll take why not just simply prime off Now, so there's there's three different styles. These uh, upright ones are your common, your most common ones, um, and then these kind, uh, they'll either they'll just have a, a silvery black, or sometimes they can have a a goldy tinge back. Um, but these ones aren't. So yeah, they're crystal oscillators. And then um, um, probably the last thing are the actual IC chips. Now, 
these IC chips can be quite difficult. One way is to uh, sharpen up a, a flat blade screwdriver a little bit. And just uh, kind of dig into them and, and uh, pry them out. But, uh, now, with these CRT boards, uh, a lot of these IC chips um, don't have much value at all or, or don't have any gold in them um, but a lot of them do so I can get the okay so these larger ones um, some of these can be really really heavily gold um, plating Uh, okay, now you can see that that's um, it's it's basically copper with maybe a slight bit of gold, but it could be just copper. Not all of them are gold. Um, here's another one off another TV. Uh, look at the difference. You can see that um, this one has. You know, every, every one of these legs, these silvery legs, once they're inside the ceramic, are actually gold. Um, this one, definitely copper, right? Once we get to the centre, there might be a little bit of gold, but maybe not. Okay, now, on the end here, there might be a little bit of gold plating in this little square plate that's in the middle of all these chips. It's where all the, the, the legs meet. But as you can see, some CRT TVs have a very prominent gold pin. So every one of these legs leads into a gold plated wire. So if this is your thing, uh, by all means, take these uh, these IC chips off. It's usually it's usually very messy. There's, some of them are very tight. Sometimes I'll just get a chisel and I'll just put a chisel in and give it a whack with a, a hammer <coughs> and then just try and get the other side out. Okay. So that's it. I just throw these in with uh, just uh, CRT um, IC chips. I keep these separate to the EPROMs, separate to the ice, um, the flat packs. These I consider a low grade because not all of them will have uh, gold plating. So these are the lowest grade IC chips, but still worthwhile because there is gold in them. <laughs> But not very good if you uh, drop the bucket. So anyway, so that's that board. Uh, another variation. This is an older board um, from an older CRT board. Don't seem that that much, um, but the same kind of deal. Uh, there's a couple of little transformers here. In this case, it's got a little removable EEPROM. Okay, or well, a PROM, not an EEPROM. Um, so I just throw these in with. Uh, regular flat packs and uh, okay and then what you'll notice on the older boards is uh, even more unusual uh, crystal oscillators like this round one these round ones are usually gold as I said they're usually gold this in this case it's not it's just a silvery color um, from what I can see, but that's a crystal oscillator. So the uh, off the other board that we got, the three, so that's just another variation of a crystal oscillator. Okay, um, and uh, as well as that flat one, there'll probably be a, an upright crystal oscillator um, somewhere on the board. Uh, because this is so busy, such a busy board, sometimes it can be hard to find find stuff. 
but uh, yeah, most likely it's got another one. Uh, I just can't see it. And uh, so yeah, um, so there's not a lot of a lot of things to scrap. Oh yeah, there's a there's a sideboard here. Now there's no IC chips on this board because of these removable IC chips, um, removable proms. Um, but on the side there's a there's a an old version of a slot card. Okay. Now this slot card, right? Now this most likely is silver because it's quite tarnished now. But it could be uh, just a uh, um, um, nickel. So with these kind of things, we don't worry about it. You don't break them off for the silver because it, even if it was silver, it's very very low value uh, unless you had mountains of it. But um, so there's the only IC, mounted IC chip from the slot card. And as you can see, here's another crystal oscillator. And look at the size of this one. Look at this bugger. Wow. Give you a comparison. That's the one we took off. And look at that one. It's uh, much thicker. Huge. Huge can. Awesome. There's almost an ounce of silver in that. I'm just kidding, but <laughs> be funny. Um, so yeah, I'll take off this uh, circuit board, uh, this IC chip. The rest will go scrap. This thing, um, I've taken off the um, crystal oscillators. I've got a couple more transformers, and then the rest will just go as scrap steel, the whole thing. Another variation of an older board. Um, in this case, got really nice, thick aluminium heat sinks. It's also got thin copper heat sinks. So don't forget that your, that can go as uh, candy copper. Got the little crystal oscillator. And there's another one here. You can see another round one here. All right. Also, it's not a gold one, but it's still a crystal oscillator. And there's still silver in it. Okay, so we've got a couple of crystal oscillators off it. We're going to get this IC chip and this one, obviously. Okay, see if we can have a little quick crack in. Sometimes they're, they're soft and they they reveal the pins, sometimes they just crumb, crack up and yeah, can't really see much. Very light plating in the center if anything, low grade, but still still okay considering what it is. It's just a CRT board, you know, it's, it's, it's not a modern day circuit board, so, so um, for what it is, <laughs> instead of selling it for 25 cents kilo, you might as well take you know, your aluminium, well there's a dollar a kilo, your uh, candy copper heat sinks, there's not much there, but still, at $5.50 a kilo, um, better than 25 cents. Your um, transformer here. Transformer, uh, probably 55 cents a kilo at the moment. Um, if the ferrite is all intact, it's not crumbled up, I, I remove this copper um, tape. Right, and that's a nice piece of burnt copper. Right, so now, you know, on this transformer, it was 55 cents a kilo. Now it's $5.50 a kilo for this part, and this is still 55 cents a kilo. Um, I don't remove it if I've broken the ferrite, because then once you remove that copper, this whole thing falls apart, and so you lose value. Um, so that's your transformer. Um, yeah, little transformers. Little one here. Sometimes they crumble. Doesn't matter. Large, large aluminium heat sink. Just need to take this off, clean it up. These 
copper heat sinks, same thing. Take out the screws. You've got little pieces of copper. Another heat sink, another one. IC chip. And once I've taken off these couple other things in the, the chip and uh, a couple of smaller spools, the rest into scrap, scrap steel. Okay. All right, well, that's a little bit about circuit boards. The, um, well, CRT boards. <laughs> um, all other circuit boards are a lot more interesting than CRT boards. But um, CRTs are, you know, in Australia, they're finishing up now. So um, while they're still out there, this, uh, you might as well, you know, if you like, take these boards, scrap them down. Whatever. <laughs>